Do you live in the northern part of Manhattan and love the works of art? Come visit NOMA, Northern Manhattan Arts Alliance. NOMA promotes the arts and enables the success of low-income artists from underserved communities and stimulates economic development in the neighborhoods they serve. They have developed a series of programs to foster the works of artists and arts organizations in Washington Heights and Inwood. Check it out. Since 2007, the Northern Manhattan Arts Alliance, best known as NOMA, has been supporting and empowering the work of artists and art organizations in Northern Manhattan. NOMA was created uh, after the Upper Manhattan Empowerment Zone, UMass, uh, commissioned a study on the needs of this community, uh, as well as Harlem and East Harlem community. And they allocated funds to develop um, a service organization that could, you know, take care of the artists of town in this neighborhood. Sandra Tancur, CEO and Executive Director of NOMA, along with her staff, have been committed to serving the artists of Washington Heights and Inwood by offering a variety of financial and educational programs. We have technical assistance, technical assistance program. Uh, uh, we do workshops, you know, to really uh, uh, provide tools for the artists to do their work, uh, to present their work and so on, uh, such as you know, portfolio development, grant writing, um, marketing. So we, we, we provide those workshops. Uh, we also have the Technical Assistance Institute. It's a whole day conference uh, that really, you know, it's a hands-on. We bring experts in different areas and, and uh, we train artists. We also have a regrant program, which is supported by J.P. Morgan Chase Foundation and uh, the Open Manhattan Empowerment Zone. So we do give small grants to individual artists and uh, arts organizations in, the, in Washington Heights and Inwood to do their work and for capacity building. Uh, we have the the Art Stroll, which is a huge program, and it's a it's a month long festival. It takes place in, in the neighborhood in Washington Heights and Inwood during the month of June. And there, uh, it's an amazing, you know, event because we have, um, you know, performances, concerts, exhibits throughout the month. And NOMA puts together the program. We do all the promotions. We do have, we have shows in our gallery, artist talks, you know, and so on. Entering their fourth year, NOMA has supported 151 artists and organizations through their re-grant program and growing. Argentinian Hector Cananch is one of the many artists who have benefited from these grants. I think it was three years ago, I found out, and I was so happy. I was, <laughs> you know, finally there's something, there's an organization here, Northern Manhattan Arts Alliance. I immediately started to call. I think I was a pest. <laughs> NOMA has been very supportive of my work. Uh, Noma has granted me the, the 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 financial, you know, support, uh, a certain percentage of what I needed to execute my projects, and also the space for exhibiting uh, my work. So it's been great. Jessica Lagunas, another artist, says she's currently working on a project that Noma helped fund and utilizing skills she learned through several workshops. It's a project called Historias Intimas and um, it basically came, came from the, the, the first idea that I have uh, from the bed sheets uh, of, about the theme of menstruation and I wanted to take the stories from my family, uh, uh, from the woman in my family sharing uh, the first time they got their period. With this project uh, I am doing all the binding of the 25 books. You did it yourself? Yes, yes, I am, I am, I am still working on it, it's a, it's a long process. Um, and I went to, to take classes uh, last year uh, to Center for, uh, Center for the Book Arts to learn how to do the book binding and everything. Um, so I will be uh, so I was able to be able to, to, to do the binding for the book. Mirrorless Distal Raldon has been able to paint about six walls so far, thanks to the re-grant program. He says that besides this program, Noma goes that extra mile by offering artists a chance to showcase their work in their own neighborhood. It's important 
for these programs to exist because we don't have many windows and opportunities to display what we want to or what we can as artists. So Noma stepping in and being that window, we have to take advantage of that. And even with so much local talent, Noma has been able to give artists like Gina Krusko and Dinga McCannon very special resources that will have been normally out of their grasp. The wonderful technical assistance days that they offer every year. I always go and I always learn something really valuable about organizing my board, uh, you know, which was totally new for me, or financial planning, budgeting, grant writing. Um, there's so much that one has to know. It's not just creating the art, it's really creating the organization. And of course it's not only a, an organizational relationship, it's also a personal relationship. And I've used their connections to get free rehearsal space, which was an amazing bonus, just a terrific gift, uh, to find dance companies that I could work with on my performances. Um, in both cases, the dance companies were from this neighborhood, so I connected to them through NOMA. And, you know, whatever other problem solving I may need. The fact that I was able to get a grant to begin with, that was probably one of the first grants I ever got, was very empowering. And it also allowed me to buy materials that normally I would never be able to afford to. And it was like an artist going to the store, like usually you have to go and add up this and you add up that and all that. But with the grant money, I was able to go to the store and buy everything I really wanted. But NOMA does not only support and promote the work of artists. NOMA is also devoted to continue developing partnerships with businesses in order to increase the visibility of Washington Heights and England. Lenny Lazarino, Vice President for the Leasing of Edison Properties, who has partnered with NOMA in order to provide space for exhibitions, says he considers art to be the heart and soul of the community.